Good morning guys and welcome to another video. Um, today is actually my last full day in Miami because I am moving. And I thought it would be kind of interesting to show you guys like what I eat in a day, what I do today, I don't know. So to start out, as you can tell, I sold all of my furniture <laughs> so I don't have a bed and I saved my like two inch memory foam topper and I've just been sleeping on the floor for the past four nights. So I only have one more night, thank goodness. Um, it's been kind of interesting. But now I'm gonna get out of bed and do some yoga. Oh, but I wanted to mention, I've been reading this book. It's a very popular book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. It was kind of slow at first, but I'm actually like starting to get into it more and I think it's really, really interesting. So I would recommend it. And I've been trying to read a little in the morning instead of sitting on my phone. Um, I haven't completely accomplished that because I've still been going on my phone, but that's my long-term goal, to read instead of looking at my phone. But that's it for now. I'm gonna roll off of this bed and move my body. <clears throat> so I finished yoga, quickly rinsed off in the shower, and now I'm going to get started with my day. Basically today I have to pretty much clean the rest of my apartment because they're going to not give us our rent deposit back if we don't clean it. Um, so I'm going to be doing that, and I might do a little bit of work-related work, but I think I'm mostly going to be cleaning. But anyways, I'm going to start out with this Four Sigmatic Mushroom Matcha Drink Mix. This video is sponsored by Four Sigmatic. I've been working for, with them for the past couple of months. Um, but I'm gonna be honest, guys. I really, really like this matcha. There's a lion's mane and ginger in it, so I feel like it has a really cool flavor. That's what you get for trying to balance your camera on the ledge of a cupboard. Anyways, what I was going to say is, honestly, I do really like this, but when I first got it, I was like, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna drink this, because as you guys know, I'm like kind of sensitive to caffeine, and usually when I drink matcha, I'm like wired, and like I get anxious and stressed, but I decided to give this one a try, and I think it might be like the lion's mane in it, which is supposed to help you focus, but I don't get stressed at all, and I thought maybe it was a fluke like the first time I did it, but I've had it like several times, and it's totally fine. So if you're more sensitive to caffeine, honestly, like try checking this out if you like matcha. Um, but as always, you guys can get a 15% discount off of anything from the Four Sigmatic website using my code from my bowl, uh, just by going to foursigmatic.com slash from my bowl. I will link it in the description of this video too. But I'm going to make this, I have this little mini um, coconut milk uh, in my fridge. My fridge is pretty empty, I'll show you guys later. Um, and I'm just going to use this and this to make a little latte and I might add some cinnamon too. I already packed all of my measuring spoons too, so I'm just gonna have to guess to me on this. Mm -hmm, whatever. Also, this drink frother is literally the best thing ever. All right, I added some cinnamon so it looks more brown now, but still looks pretty good. I figured I might as well show you guys my pantry. So I had to empty my cabinets already because I had to clean them. So this is like pretty much everything I have. Some of the stuff I'm taking with me to LA, I'm obviously not gonna eat this all in a day, but I just saved like a few spices, for sigmatic stuff, ice and tea. This is mostly for LA. And then this is not granola anymore. I just have like a bunch of nuts and seeds in it that I left over. I have some nut butters, cacao nibs, my greens powder, and then this is just some vitamin D. Um, and I have a few things over here. I'm actually meeting up with my friend later today and I'm gonna give her all the stuff that I don't use. And my freezer, it's pretty darn empty. I have a loaf of gluten-free bread that's really good and I'm sad that I'm not gonna be able to finish it. It's like the best vegan gluten-free bread I found. Uh, one and a half frozen bananas. These are some 
um, energy bites. I'm probably gonna end up giving them to my friend. And then all I have is the frozen blueberries, and I love this, guys. Did you know that blueberries are healthy, fun, and firm? And then this is my fridge. It kind of looks like I have a lot, but I really don't have that much that's actually like edible. <laughs> I have some kale, lemons, some of the stuff I'm gonna pack for lunch tomorrow on the airplane. I have some condiments. I'm gonna give those to my friend again. But I think for breakfast, I'm gonna have some frozen blueberries. I'm gonna have this coconut yogurt. Um, and then I have some of this mame sapote. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have wrapped it in plastic wrap. I know I'm bad. Uh, but yeah, and I'll mix it with protein powder probably. I also made myself a little green juice and I wasn't hungry um, just yet, so I cleaned some, but I made my breakfast, so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like now. I have it on the table over here. So here's all the fruit. I actually found a kiwi in my fridge too, which is pretty snazzy. And then frozen blueberries. This is the mame sapote. If you've never had it before, it kind of tastes like candied sweet potato. I added some ground flax. The, that's the yogurt. And then the protein powders are underneath it, but it's ugly and I wanted to try to take a cute photo. So I just hit it for the photo. And I'm just gonna mix this up and probably add a little bit of liquid. Also I wanted to say, I clean all this area. I clean the table. Someone's coming to get it in a few minutes and all of this area, and I just have this, and my kitchen, which is a hot mess, don't look. So I mixed it all together now, and as you can tell, it looks super ugly, which is why I didn't mix it before I showed you. But this is gonna be my breakfast, and then I'm going to clean some more, I think, and then I want to get outside and get some sunshine. This is my last day in Miami. I feel like, you know, you gotta do that. So that's what's up right now. So now I am walking to the UPS store um, to return my wireless router but I'm shipping my car across the country I'm not driving so I don't have a car luckily it's only like half a mile from my house so it's in my backpack you can't really see it in there and that's what I'm doing and it's really freaking hot and I realize I still have a lot of stuff to do so I'm probably not gonna get to go to the pool today and I'm stressed but yeah bye all right that's done package is turned in I'm gonna go home now make myself some lunch so I got rid of the kitchen table and now I'm making my lunch. I'm sipping on some Health Aid Cayenne Cleanse Kombucha and I'm pretty much using up all of my leftovers. So I have the rest of my kale here. It's raw now, but it's going to shrink a lot. I have a random carrot and I put some lime juice on top of it and then I'm going to massage this avocado into it with a little bit of salt for a salad. And then I am just boiling some russet potatoes um, on the side. And then I actually went ahead and made my dinner so I can just clean the kitchen and don't have to worry about it later. It is some of this organic edamame spaghetti and I topped it with tomato sauce and I had roasted some zucchini and asparagus and balsamic vinegar beforehand so it doesn't look the prettiest but it will be fine so I'm just gonna put it in the fridge and then microwave it when it's dinner time so this is the finished salad and I'm actually really hungry right now um, so I'm going to eat it while I'm waiting for my potatoes to boil potatoes are done I just put them in the same bowl and I'm going to eat some with some of this truffle dill and chive cheese just because I need to use it up and, excuse me, I just burped. This is my lunch. What can I say, guys? Moving is just so freaking glamorous. To be honest, it doesn't taste bad. Because this is what I eat in a day a video, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I cooked too many potatoes. I can't finish them. Oops. So, I'm not naked. Um, I'm pretty much done with cleaning. I just have to clean my bathroom and clean like one small corner of our kitchen. And it's only like 2.30 so I realize I do have time to go to the pool so I have my book with me and I'm just going to relax for a little bit and try not to get stressed out like I was like an hour ago. Do I look tanner? Anyways, it is now dinner time so I just microwaved that pasta that I made earlier that I already showed you guys. And I'm just going to be topping it with this Kelly's Croutons Roasted Garlic Parm. And I don't have a table or any chairs, so I'm sitting on my bed and eating it. So here we are. I look really orangey pink in this light, but whatever. I'm back on my super comfy bed. Just kidding, it's not comfortable, but it's my last night, so whatever. Um, I actually spent the evening with my friends at Miami Fruit. I've hung out with them a few times in my vlog. I think they have a exotic fruit company here in Miami and they actually had durian and I tried frozen durian before and I thought it was disgusting. It tasted like red onion so I was dubious but 
Um, I tasted this one and it was fresh, so it hadn't been frozen. And I think it was a different variety as well. And I actually really liked it. I'm gonna insert a clip of me actually trying it here. It's a good one. Mm. We got it. It's way better than, okay, it's actually good. <laughs> <laughs> it's just way better than the frozen one I had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was dubious, but it's good. <laughs> Yeah. But then afterwards, I just kind of hung out with Rain and Adele and Riley and John and a few other people who were hanging out there and I ate some rambutan, which are good. They're kind of like lychees if you hadn't had them before. And I also ate a few slices of watermelon, uh, but I didn't film that. And yeah, that's all I did today. Well, all. I cleaned a lot today, guys. I pretty much scrubbed my whole apartment while well, on my hands and knees. But anyways, um, that concludes my time in Miami. I'd say it's like bittersweet, but honestly, I'm just so excited to move uh, and I'm excited to share the journey with you guys. So that is everything I eat in a day and now I'm gonna go to bed because I kind of have to wake up early tomorrow morning just to finish a few things and then head off to the airport and become a permanent resident of the West Coast. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.